Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a space weather update. Saturday, October 9th at noon, Mountain Time, 2021. An M1.6 solar flare producing a coronal mass ejection has just occurred. Now you're looking at the Iswa Signet Streamer, which is a model of what that coronal mass ejection may do. Real quick, we'll come over and check out the GOES X-ray flux. You can see the one M1.6 kicking off just about uh, eight, ten hours ago. And let's talk about it. Solar activity reached moderate levels today with an M1.6 solar flare observed around AR2882. That was at 638 UTC on October 9th. The flare was associated with a type 2 radio emission with an estimated velocity of 608 kilometers per second, along with a 10 centimeter radio burst lasting 27 minutes and measuring 430 solar flux units. Based on this data and imagery courtesy of SDO A1A, a coronal mass ejection is likely and may be earth directed and in fact is, and we'll show you the telemetry in just a moment. So here we're looking at stereo ahead core two, where you can see that plasma being ejected. Earth is over here to the right. And again, core two A, that same plasma. Now, most of it's headed up north, but it looks, seems like a big wave is right in the middle. And you'll be the judge. There's the M1.6 flare. And here we are at uh, Lasco C2, checking out the halo from the event there. Full halo on Lasco C3 here from the M1.6. There it is. And if we come over to C2, more of a shock wave there. Pretty impressive shock wave coming from this M1.6 with coronal mass ejection headed towards Earth. Now, what I have is a progression from stereo ahead core two. The Earth is over here to the right, and it seems like around 723 UTC, it really picked up. And we're going to just progress that movement of plasma to the right here all the way through 923. So here is 723 UTC today. And that CME headed directly towards us. Now, nothing is up here on the WSA Enlil spiral yet. They're not showing any coronal mass ejection. But ISWA, in fact, certainly is. And a big boom indeed. We just wanted to bring you up to speed about what's headed towards Earth. Now, the possible effects from this baby, um, if you just come over here into this screen, take a look at that density surge we're gonna get. So there's gonna be some definite effects because it's a, a, a rapid snap um, while we're sitting in very low level activity here, it appears. So we hit, yeah, boom. So what we should be looking for is maybe low level geomagnetic storm, KP4 up to KP6 for short periods of time and maybe some low level disruptions to some power centers on the grid or communication satellites, maybe even the internet. All very low level. This is not a big flare, but because of its directionality, which is coming right at us, this will be a good test of our magnetosphere moving forward. So we're gonna keep a close eye on it. Now, when will it hit? Well, based on the model, the 11th or the 12th, which is just in two days. So starting on the 11th, uh, early in the morning, we're going to keep a close eye on what's happening with space weather, and we'll update you as needed. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. As the magnetosphere wanes and the mainstream, well, they're just not warning you about it. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a dystopian world where the grid, well, is about to fail. Hey, no, no, no.